Hi, this is Will Harvey of Finale Fireworks. There are many ways to design a fire musical, but there are three steps that most people follow. Set up the show, identify the important time points in the soundtrack, and then flesh out the effects at and in between those time points. We're gonna walk through those three steps using Finale 3D in just a minute or two. The first step is to set up the show. In Finale 3D, when you launch the software, you begin with nine positions on the grass by default. I'm going to insert an additional position for my example part of the musical and move it to the rear as a position for the shelves. That's the first part of setting up the show, which is to lay out the shoot site as it will be in the real world. The second part, of course, is to design your soundtrack. You can use external software to do this, or you can do it directly in Finale 3D. For this example, I'll assume that I already have the soundtrack available, and I'll just import the MP3. When I import the song, you can see it appear on the timeline. That's it for the first step, preparing the show. The second step is to identify the important time points in the soundtrack. And most people do that by listening to the soundtrack and then pressing a key on the keyboard to insert a cue for a placeholder event at each important time point. I'll do that here. Press in the space bar. There. As you can see on the timeline, I've laid out three cues which correspond to three empty rows in the script window here on the right. There's nothing in the effect column yet because they're empty. The third step in designing a fire musical, once you've set up the show and laid out your important time points, is to fill in the effects at those time points and in between. I can use the arrow keys on the timeline to tab left and right between the time points that I've added at the beginning. You can also just use the cursor keys on my keyboard, which is really quick. So I move the playhead to the first time point, select the position at which I want to add the effect, and then click on the effect that I want to add. The effect is inserted onto the timeline at that position. And I press the arrow to move to the next one, add the effect to that position. I then click on the arrow again to move to the next position, and I'll add the effects to that time point. In this example, I'd like this last time cue to reflect a big fan of positions coming from the front, uh, position zero, one through position nine. So I'll select all of these positions. and insert a comet into all of them. You can see the comets were just added there and over here in the script window. Having done that, I go to the script menu, angles, making the fan, choose the breadth of the fan, and fan them out to be 90 degrees. That looks fine. And now I also want to put them into a sequence, script, sequences make into sequence from center to outside. You can see now they're staggered on the timeline from the first one, which happens to be in the center, to the last one, which are on the ends. As I listen to the soundtrack now, so as I said at the beginning, there are many ways to script a fire musical, but most people follow these three steps. Prepare the show with the soundtrack and launch positions, identify the important time points in the music, and then insert effects to flesh out the show. Hopefully these three steps will get you started. Thank you.